Here is my gold evening gown, which I made alongside my friend Ruth. We had this summer where we just work on sewing projects together, and it was the most comforting thing ever. At the time, I had just been through a bit of a rough time as well, so just feeling Ruth beside me and knowing how much she loves me filled me with a lot of comfort, even if simultaneously I was feeling a lot of pain. Sewing over and over different clothes with her that summer and coming out with so many beautiful pieces I truly loved honestly saved that summer for both of us. It was also the summer of COVID 2020, so it was just as lockdown was easing and you were allowed a friend in outdoor spaces. So to begin with, a lot of it was spent outside in the garden sewing, and we would bring the sewing machines out with an extension cable. This was my 19th birthday. The sky is so white! My birthday is the winter solstice here in England, the shortest day of the year in terms of sunlight, so it is always pretty dark and shady, or if there is some brightness for a few hours at midday, there are always either white or grey clouds, as if it's either going to snow or drizzle. I know some people find it limiting to not have a birthday in spring or summer, where the hours of daylight and beautiful warmth and sun means you can pretty much do anything. But I actually like my winter birthday. It means I have to work that extra bit harder to still make it a beautiful day, since I know the weather will be giving me clouds and lots and lots of cold. But the fact that I know it's going to be absolutely freezing when I wear these dresses on my birthday and yet I do it anyway, actually gives me so much satisfaction and happiness. I never let the cold stop me from doing what I want to do. And that feels nice. We realised when we were filming this video that it was reminding us of Beauty and the Beast, between the beautiful manor house and the gold of the dress. So we put on the Beauty and the Beast theme tune, which Ruth had actually never heard before, so I had to educate her on a bit of Disney songs. A tale as old as time. I actually really like that melody, so I think it's really pretty makes you see the world as a beautiful place, rather than a grey, dull one. This was before me and Ruth had the very capable cameras which we have now, and we were recording this on a little Olympus which actually her grandfather had very kindly gifted both of us, as he knew how much we loved creating photos and videos. Here Ruth is taking photos of me, and she set up the camera for some behind the scenes footage of photography, as at the time she actually wanted to make a video of how she got the shots. Which is why I'm moving weirdly, <laughs> and why she's directing me, and why I'm posing, because she's taking photos of me. I actually never showed anyone these photos because I felt like I looked so grotesque, and couldn't even look at the photo or video of myself. But now I feel like I just look like Selena Gomez. <laughs> And that comforts me. But that's not the end. I still don't feel comfortable with the way my body looks here and feel a certain shame when editing this video. But it's so important to me to push down those feelings and turn up anyway. To defy and fight against thoughts and feelings which I know are not full of goodness and love. There is so much more to a person than their body and whether or not they have beauty. I believe this so strongly, and yet so often the media and watching other people's YouTube videos and Instagram and creative industries leave you feeling like that is all that matters, that if you look slightly different, you don't have worth. Funnily enough, just yesterday I felt God very clearly say something to me. It was after an encounter which I had had just feeling his love and peace and presence so strongly within me, and a little afterwards I just had this vision of this very video, the gold dress, and God placing it on my heart, that why on earth do you care? You are so much more than this. Why do you worry that your body is not good enough, when your worth has nothing to do with your outward appearance? Over years I have stayed with you, and I have loved you, and I will work in you, 
no matter what.